We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves, and take their nether stones. I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the Absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Book shopping? But yes. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, Netherese texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Don't waste a step. Worms Crossing, the welcome mat of Baldur's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, He'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Civilization beckons at last. It's no water deep, but Baldur's Gate is a respectable runner up, or at least a close third. Baldur's Gate at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. Oh, wish I had a bag of holding. Precisely how many red cats are missing? I just... Yeah. 
Here goes nothing. Um, excuse me, I can't find my mum. Jenna! Ah, uh, my cat is grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come back the same day. That was last ten day, though. Wow. Thanks. My mum would like this. She's the best cook in the world. And she taught me, too. I'll, um... I'll look for her. I think she'll probably come soon. Thanks a lot. As you stop sulking and start walking right now. Really there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. It's up there and we're down here. That's why we need to walk just a little more. Do you know where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all of my attention. We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. It's up there and we're down here. That's why we need to... Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. As long as you stop sulking and start walking right now. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. In front of the other. No passage this way, I'm afraid. Turn back. It's for your own good. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Up on the hill. I see it. But it's up there and we're down here. What in the hells was that? It felt like a bloody earthquake. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Yeah. Up on the hill. <sighs> that might be worth a look. Hindenburg. 
Silence breeds madness. Can't give up now. There's an invitation behind its great brown eyes. My, my! The fates move in strange and scrumptious ways. I am delighted to see you again. After our little interlude at last light, I was worried you'd gone quite mad. You proved yourself capable of the truth. Now here's another. I want to get into the city. Now. But it's hard to shuffle your way to the front of the queue when you're, well, as big as an ox. But what if I was smaller, more discreet? Maybe then a kind soul might bring me through. Right in their little pocket. Whew. This day has ended so much better than it started. Now, you don't worry about me. I'll be a good, quiet little apple you can tuck into the corner of your pack. Just until we're inside the city walls. Hail, Cyric! I can't wait to get inside! Might be useful. Assume nothing. Let's move. I have to keep going. a real favor clearing all those ghouls out of Moonrise. That old bone bag Ketherick had some fancy junk stashed behind all the cobwebs and piles of gore. Didn't you? Figured we only got the scraps you didn't have the strength to carry. Wish I could tell you. We're stuck out here, but most of the action is beyond Worms Crossing. Would I try to fool a Sharpie like you? Have a look. Stay away from trap chests! You. Turn around and toddle your way right back out of here. Everything in this barn has been donated for the refugees, not you. Now piss off. Food, sundries, toys even. What would you expect for people who've lost everything? Now are you gonna clear off or not? Not unless you want to make a donation. Guess you're not all bad. Give it here and I'll make sure it's kept safely with the other donations. Hmm. Let's see what you've got.
Thank you. I'm sure your contribution will be greatly appreciated. take down troublemakers, so don't make trouble. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Baldarians! Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. You, you're a true Baldarian, I can tell. You must understand why we need to keep these strays out of our city. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. They're beggars and criminals, and we. You see them over there? Refugees? Ha! Naught but a cover. I know what they really are. Died in the wool agents of the absolute. Mark my words. There's probably only a handful of rotten apples among them. Or, you know what they say about rot? It spreads quickly, ruins the whole bunch. We've got diseases. Then any one of them could be a spy for the absolute. Back off and return to your homes. That's a... between you and me. I don't think there are enough flaming fists here for these refugees. Oh, no. You misunderstand. I mean, anyone could be among these refugees. Us Baldurians can't feel safe with so many of them roaming about without proper supervision. <sighs> Let's hope Archduke Gortash can make a difference. I'm not paid to debate with civilians. No, we... Don't pay me any mind now. I'm just trying to make sure everyone gets fed. Troublemakers, so don't make trouble. Lord on the rack, give me patience. These protesters keep harassing the refugees. It's horrid. I just hope the Il Mater Temple opens up aid again soon. We need their help here. File a report, and I'm sure the Manic will deal with it. Coddling these vagabonds and don't give a rat's ass about honest Open up. citizens. I took you for one of them for a moment. The refugees, that is. You're a recent arrival for sure, still bearing dust from the road. But you have something they lack dignity. These wretches have nowhere to call home, nothing to live off but what they carry, and nobody to help them but themselves. And me, of course. Me? 
I lighten their load. You'd be shocked by the sort of things they bring with them. Gold and jewels, they can't easily exchange. Heirlooms, rarities, sentimental items, even cremation urns. Alas, you can't eat grandmother's ashes, nor can you easily trade a golden candelabra for a bowl of soup. That is where I come in. Liquidity. Their heirlooms for my gold. Difficult to get a good day's trade done when I'm expected to keep watch for Shadowheart at the same time. Who knows when she'll finally turn up? There is an enterprise within the city that I help to support. I know I said I wasn't given to charity, but this place is dear to my heart. I'd tell you more, but they value discretion above all. As do I. Is that so? Well, perhaps you should retrieve her then. To take down troublemakers. So don't make trouble. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Absolutely not. We've hit our quota for mangy strays. Just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Why are you so nosy? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like a cat and went off to, to spend a last life. Please don't. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Soldier, this is it. We're almost to the city. First through Worms Crossing, then on to the lower city. Oh, it smells the exact same. Ten years on, but still home. Incredible. Watching gods. But I never thought I would be happy to see this city again. <laughs> Much less to smell it. The Harper safe house I spoke of is on the bridge at Worms Crossing. Danthelon's dancing axe. Information. The Chosen have a head start on us. We'd like to know what they've done with it. You think me lonely? <laughs> In 
truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. With allies, every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you've found a rocking chair for me to doze off in. Worms crossing. The gaping moor of the city. Nature has little control over what happens beyond that bridge. I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. How can I help? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Worms crossing. We could be inside the city walls before long. And I could be back where this all started. I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. Not quite. Above all else, protecting our base of operations in Baldur's Gate was the reason I had to surrender my memories to begin with. Or at least, that's what I was led to believe. We should look for someone to point me in the right direction. Otherwise, we'll have little recourse but to wander the whole city searching. Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Almost pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. Incredible to be back. My home. My city. Baldur's Gate is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Portier's bushes. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home, and it's worth saving. And you? The city's yours too, after all. How's it feel to be back? <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Toril's history is written within our city's walls. 
Expeditions to the continent of Mastika gather in the harbor. The Church of Gon displays its most priceless treasures in the High House of Wonders. Voices raised in song on returning day. The heady winds at the Elf Song. There's truly no place like Baldur's Gate. The city is close now. My former peers will be watching, no doubt. File a report. Waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bets that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has Our Lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Tell me one thing. Is there someone called Renald there? A tiefling with short horns and purple hair. Renald! Now there is a name I haven't heard in a while. He is no more. I'll leave the rest for you to find out. Heretic. And don't give a rat's ass about honest citizens! Oh, to be fair, for a miserable collection of shabby hovels jam-packed with wretched refugees, this place isn't bad at all. <laughs> the Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands, and I'm a sociable sort. That's a bigger issue than modesty, dear. Oh, oh, gods! Are they gonna see it? What happens if they don't see it? Fetch! Oh, gods, no! No, no! No, that just won't do! Look, I know you're not gonna see it, so you might as well be on your way. I'm a... Oh, goodness! You said it! Wondrous day! I am a good dog! You can come back! I like you! Oh, 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 oh! Here we go! Here it comes! Yes, yes, yes! Amazing! Perfect! No notes! Farmers, Chris. No, 
I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. Means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. Here we are, Griselda. We need to get into the city. All in one piece. I wish the cult hadn't burnt our farm, though. At least we got Biscotti out of that burning barn. Just a little singe, day, Biscotti. The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. What's hiding here? Look at that! Finest pie that fruit could have made! You remember that spiced apple loaf we had in Waterdeep? Oh, the big one. Oh. God, oh, I can practically... <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuffing their pockets. Bloody animals. Take the wood. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Back off! I found these apples first! The state of this car! Like, what were they thinking? They wasn't thinking. Starving folk tend not to. If they just lined up and, and, and taken their fair shares... We've had plenty for everyone. If more for me, one get is fed and watered. That's curious. Our people. What is this? Is the end? Then we should end it on our terms. Not hiding. Look at that finest pie that fruit could have made. Now it's mush. You remember that spiced apple loaf we had in Waterdeep? Oh, the big one. Oh. God. Oh, I can practically smell it. Shut it. Scavenge whatever you can from this mess. We'll make something out of it. Bloody savages, a lot of them. We're as desperate as the rest of these savages. They just had the sense to move quicker than us. People. There are so few of us what left. This is the end. Rechtei hathran rust. My friend from the Hag Swamp. You join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark day. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. 
Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> hello again. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasin So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. One is just as important as the other, I find. And our luck has been poor. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. I spent 200 years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge, I can do. Thank you, from me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. It is good to have you with us. There is something rotten at the heart of this city. And it needs purging. I pray you will succeed where we failed. Exterminate every last vampire parasite. We are begging help from you, an outsider. I would follow Olma to the hells and back, but this does not feel right. To lose our children is a tragedy. To fail so utterly in saving them is... Something else entirely. Ulmer insists the tribe is not cursed, but I have my doubts. Do not stand here and wait. Kazador must be destroyed. 
Then we should end it on our terms, not hiding in fear. Very well. We do. Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. No screaming children. No laughter. No scolding words. There is only silence and pain. How much farther can I go? Judgment and it almost dooms. We need strategy and cool heads. Should we? We can do nothing for you here. All that is left is to face the beast, Kazador. Always room for more? Quite a spot, eh? Knocks the breath out of me to get up here. But the views are worth it. Another quake! What's going on? It's the Elder Brain. There's something...
Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Name and rank? Quickly now! There's a war on! At ease! At ease! I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionza! State your purpose, Groundwalker! I don't have all day! Because! We deliver communications across dangerous enemy territory with only our superior wits and aerial agility to protect us. Uh, even our skills have their limits. We've lost several experienced flyers recently. Uh, they knew the risks, but still... Damn shame. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Not one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. to put my hands on everything. Oh, kind. Ah, a new face! Refugees. Something to send? Oh, don't be Ow. shy! Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Garmwick. That's a real shame. Fine courier he was. Stumped how I'll replace him. Most want to get into the city these days, not leave it. We've had to cut our courier services completely. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me. Unopened, of course. And there's some gold in it for you. Gortash is being named Archduke. Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. There must be something. I said, step back. Oh. 
refugees. Out. I'm under strict orders to speak to no outsiders. I am also forbidden from receiving scratches, scratches, and belly rubs. Mistress says not to talk to strangers. Uh, hi. Yeah, I'm caring for the courier dogs. Mahi is my boss. She's mean, but Dad says she'll toughen me up. She's an educator. She says if somebody doesn't listen, shout louder. And if they still don't listen, fetch the rod. Dringo, get back to work. And you, what do you want? This is a private yard. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please, I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Gomwick was his handler, not his owner. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. You. You'll do no such thing. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. You... You got rid of her. I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. 
Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone. I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet much appreciated they'll turn up in the last place you look I'm sure to know all about Stelmain's murder? Hottest topic in Rivington. Apart from the March of the Absolute's Army, I suppose. Got today's edition of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette right here. You want one? Excellent. You enjoy that one, all right? It's really gory. of the hour walking right up to me. The name's Lens, reporter with the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? I'm here looking for my next angle, but it's all the same, oppression, famine, death. I need something new, someone like you. It won't take more than two moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. So, you've arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? Everybody needs a rest from time to time. Even seasoned adventurers like yourself. I imagine you've a need to let off some steam after your recent adventures in the... Shadow Cursed Lands. My sources tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorn. How did you manage that? I'm a journalist. It's my job to know everything. Unfortunately, the version I heard was light on the details. So what did you do to Ketherick? I'm sure you are much more than that. You proved to be quite the thorn in his side. His absolutist friends can't be very happy with you. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? it could inspire some like-minded citizens to help your cause. You must have some strategy in mind.
Don't worry. I already have everything I need. who crushed the Bone Lord's thrall. <laughs> I know the truth. <laughs> you come for our nether stones. Come to prize one from the tyrant's death grip. Pluck the other from my rotted carcass. <laughs> when you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. So, oh, Orin is a shapeshifter. How long has she been watching? Please, my son. He's only a boy. You must understand. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Almost pleasant, travelling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. A shame. I thought we were doing well together. Perhaps I'll see you at camp. Farewell. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer? I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. Please, orders are orders. Orin, Skvar, burn away the shadows she hides in, tear off her mask, and you'd reveal her for what she is, a shivering child. shifter she'll try to break our best asset our trust fortunately she's no match for our second best asset me fuck yes so bell's chosen is a doppelganger <sighs> i should not be surprised they have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good.
shape-shifting monstrosities of unknown origin. Doppelgangers are unnatural predators, their latent empathic abilities helping them to know, imitate, and eventually replace their prey. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin... He's more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. I have battled great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts, but Orin, she is beyond even Thorm. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? That foul shapeshifter Orin is like a scavenger beast, probing us for weaknesses. Do not let her shake your resolve. Orin toys with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations, I hope she reveals them quickly. Certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Hope you're keeping well, friend. <laughs> <laughs> 